What's up, guys? Hola! Hoje tem um vídeo sobre filmes brasileiros, na verdade, só sobre um filme. Today we have a video about a Brazilian movie. Cool. I feel like we've talked about and I've shown you a lot of aspects of Brazilian culture, but one thing that I haven't shown you, and I don't know, have you ever watched a Brazilian movie? No. Okay, good, that's a good thing, that's a good thing. Okay. Because, okay, so today we have City of God, we're gonna watch City of God, uh, we're gonna take some notes on what we think about the movie, and then at the end of it we'll just kind of discuss what we think about the cultural aspects of the movie. It really gives a good view into like the 1960s and 1970s, what it was like in the poorer areas of Brazil. Okay. I love this movie, you said you've heard of it before. Yeah, I had a lot of friends and I, everything I think I've heard about it is good and that it's powerful and that mm -hmm. it's so I'm excited. Yeah, it's entertaining, um, it's emotional. Yeah, it's just an all around great movie. It has really good ratings on all the all the sites, so I'm excited to show it to you. Cool. I'm pumped. Let's go! Alright, so we got our popcorn here. Um, we're just gonna sit back, relax, watch the movie, and we'll see you guys after the movie. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just took a little break from the movie. We're about halfway through. What are like your snacks. first... Yeah, we got some, <laughs> some more snacks to eat. And we just ended where we paused was right after a pretty intense scene with the kids. So I guess yeah. what are your kind of first Im initial impressions of, of the movie? I mean the intensity from the very first scene where it's just like... It's just like the sound of like drums and just like the it's like I've been on the edge of my my seat this whole time. Yeah, and then it's you super good storytelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um I mean you just feel it and I feel like this is a good representation of like that time, I think. Alright, well we're gonna finish the movie. We'll see you guys in about an hour. <clears throat> Alright. So before we talk about the movie, I just want to explain something for you and for the audience also. If I was deciding on one thing to show an American about Brazil, it definitely wouldn't be this movie. But I feel like we're at a place now where you've learned so much about Brazilian music, food, how the people are, a little bit about the language. Like this is part of their history and this is part of their culture. Um, they're dealing with the ramifications of this time period still today in Brazil. Yeah. So that's why I kind of wanted to just explain to you and to the viewers why uh, I chose to, to show you this video or this movie. But I feel like you're at a place now where you can, it's not like this is what you see and this is what you're going to think of when you think of Brazil yeah. because I've showed you all this other stuff. Yeah. So... I mean, there's... It, it seems with any place, there's the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we've looked at a lot of the most... some amazing things about Brazil's culture. And I think this, although intense and real and deep, it's necessary to understand who Brazil is and where they come from yeah. and the and like just like the 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 real actual like this is this is Brazil this is Brazil yeah yeah so yeah the the story is kind of based off of a true story so i don't know how much of it is true obviously anytime they take a story and make it into a movie they're going to kind of amplify yeah. and exaggerate a little bit of course. Um, but I still feel like it's a good representation. True stories are always great, you know? Well, it just makes it more real. It makes it more interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just shot really well, and I, I just, like, was in it. Like, it felt very real. Yeah. Like, it didn't feel like a movie. Mm-hmm. It, like, someone just, like, a uh, rocket with his camera. It was like someone was, like, actually there, like, recording. Document. Yeah, it yeah. was... We took a bunch of notes <laughs> that we have. And I think the, the most powerful piece or aspect of the movie is the storytelling. They'll show a part and then they'll kind of work their way back from the beginning, lead up to that part, and then they'll go ahead again and come back. I thought it was very cool. How yeah, they... and sometimes you can get caught up in that and like it can get confusing, but everything just like weaved right. and like blended together really well. Yeah. And I felt like there was like the main stories, but we got like all these mini stories around all of it and it was, yeah, it was, yeah. yeah, but they all kind of weave and connect at the end. Yeah. Uh, the way that they introduce characters is really cool, too. Yeah. I picked up on a lot of parallels with American uh, culture, I guess, with the favelas, or our favelas, which are the ghettos. People being afraid to talk to the police, that's something that exists here in the U.S. also. Yeah, for in sure. In poor communities. 
uh, lack of ways to make a living um, and getting out of the ghettos. You told me they they were government run. The scenes in the beginning where they're kind of like out away from the city, mm -hmm. those were all constructed by the government yeah. for poor people to live in. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's exactly it. Just reminded me of that the projects right. and and that similarity. And there's no like crime and that type of stuff is like the only way out. At One least of, it seems. Yeah, at least the easiest it seems. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Because even the some of the people who tried to make a living for themselves, like Knockout Ned. And I mean, it worked out for Rocket, but the yeah. knockout Ned, who was trying to be like work at a supermarket or like work at not a supermarket, bus. work in the bus. Yeah, he had a good place, and it's uh, I wanted the quote. Yeah, that got, the hood doesn't stop; it takes a break. Yeah, even with knockout Ned, he was he was really pumped on doing it the right way and not killing. Right, and then he killed, and then from that moment on, that's how it ended. Right, it looks like it's hard to get away from that and live a normal life. It's just a cycle. Too, yeah, is the sad part, and some people like Rocket may like sneak out. But like the hard and sad reality, I feel like similar to here is right. that they're so at a disadvantage that the system is rigged to not let them right. succeed. Yeah. The fact that so much of this stuff uh, we can say, oh, whoa, it's so similar. We can relate. We have something to relate it to. Yeah. It's not like a foreign concept to us. They touch on the relationship between like the gangsters and the police, you know, with payoffs and everything like that also. So... It's really a delicate relationship between the police, the people, and the gangsters. And this just kind of shines a light on the, those relationships. It kind of gives you context into poverty in Brazil. So like, when you have more context into the different characters and you start understanding their stories, where they came from, why they're doing what they're doing, it's not that it makes them look better, but at the same time, it, it doesn't make them look worse because you're kind of getting, you're understanding how they got to be where they did and how they're doing what they're doing. Yeah. Obviously with little Z, he's just a terrible person. Yeah. And so I it mean, wouldn't have mattered for him. He yeah. Was like, he's a killer anyways. But the other characters is kind of like, like Ned, you understand how, why he changed. And it, it gives the, the ghetto, the favelas, a face. Mm -hmm. Rather than all the, the lies or manipulated like view that's, that you see in media and stuff. Yeah. You feel it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you feel families being, you see f families being torn apart and it being last resort a lot of these situations. Mm -hmm. And I live in a fortunate, it just makes me like, it, 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 it's yeah. really. It makes you think about your own situation and, and what you have and how, you know, it's a lot worse for a lot of people yeah. in the world. This stuff, it hurt. It, like affects me watching this because this is a problem that is still going on in Brazil. Like yeah. it's tens of thousands of people die every year through this kind of violence. And I don't know, it's just tough for me to like to think about. And I don't like to talk about it a lot on my channel. I don't like to talk about it a lot with other Brazilians, but it is a reality and it is something that I, all the all Brazilians are aware of. So yeah, <laughs> it's a different video for us because usually we're like, Ready to have fun yeah, and stuff, but it, it is also good every once in a while to talk about this kind of this kind of stuff. Yeah, no, I I just I I think that was very well well put just <laughs> over overall. So um, I agree, and yeah. But it's definitely, I mean, it's definitely a movie worth watching, right? Like, it's a... Yeah, for sure. And it's, like, it's one of those movies, it's, like, sad and harsh, like, reality and truth, but it's so well done, and there's a reason why this movie needs to be seen and yeah. made. And you see... I, that's why I know why everyone's told me it's a good movie. Yeah. And that, because everyone leaves feeling like they actually got a piece of Brazil, right. obviously, you know? Right. And I'm going to be honest, I haven't watched a ton of Brazilian movies, but I feel like every Brazilian movie I've watched has some aspect of showing how relationships within Brazilian culture, uh, class relationships, race relationships, relationships between gangsters and police, like it's just, there's very complicated social issues and I feel like most of the Brazilian films I've watched have the same 
impact when you watch them. You, know, you learn about these cultural issues and you learn about these relationships that are going on in a way that I don't think you could otherwise learn about them if you're not from Brazil. Yeah, I think it does a lot better job than, than anything else that... Yeah, it's more impactful than if you read something about it, yeah. right? Like yeah. it's... It leaves you like, wh like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. I think I talked about kind of all I did. Do you have anything else that you... I Even just going back to what you were just saying about how it's hard for you to see because it's still going on, even just the very last scene of the movie, it fades with the the new kids, mm -hmm. the going new generation, in. and so like this is just the the cycle. Yeah, you know this yeah. is there's multiple of this movie going on mm -hmm. in Brazil, and so yeah, it's tough. It it's like it... it's almost ingrained in the culture of the favelas. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Last thing, just to, on a light heart, let me ask you: Who's your favorite character? Probably Benny. Benny? Yeah. Okay. I do like Benny. Like Benny, Benny was, was <laughs> he was a gangster, but he wasn't like heartless or ruthless. Like he didn't, he wanted to get away. He was trying to get away from yeah. everything and just have a normal life. He talked little Z off the ledge a few times. Yeah, totally. I mean, he was the one who needed to be in charge. Yeah. Cause well, he unified everybody. Like yeah. they had that scene where he, that, at that party, they had everybody. They had the people like Samba, mm -hmm. they had like the church going people, they yeah. kind of everybody was coming together, so. And you need yeah. a little bit of that coolness to make things yeah. work. Yeah, so that's why he's my favorite character. <laughs> well, I'm going to throw a wild card. My favorite character just throughout was, was Little Z. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was Tiago. Tiago. Which one was he? He was the one who dated the girl. Oh, the redhead. The redhead. <laughs> He went through quite the transformation. Yeah, he really, I mean, on all the characters, we got like a part of the movie was theirs, but Tiago was with us the whole yeah. time. But I just thought he was funny. And yeah. the red, redhead. <laughs> that was, I had yeah, I love the nicknames in the movie too. Like, yeah. Big Hair, Cabellon. Cabellon. So it was like Big Hair, Rosé. Cabellon? Yeah, you're Cabellon. Cabellon. You would be Cabellon. Cabellon. <laughs> I know, they're like cool like code names. Yeah. Nicknames, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I liked all of them. But yeah, I'm glad you liked it, man. Um, and yeah, like I said, I would never show this to somebody unless I showed them other things from Brazil first, because it's not something that... Like, I want you to know about it, but it's not something I want somebody to associate as their first impression. Yeah, of course. Of, of course. Brazil. And, and you, I, I think you've done a good job of painting a picture we keep adding new pieces this one yeah. was a little bit more real yeah. and deep and you got I to learn it. you got to see what brazilian cinema is about and you know their style yeah. and because it is different than hollywood yeah like the the that movie would not it'd be very different if it was shot by hollywood producers for sure right buddy Huh? Or oh, are we boring you? <laughs> então, gente, espero que vocês tenham gostado desse vídeo. Se vocês têm interesse em assistir mais vídeos assim, com outros filmes brasileiros, eu posso mostrar para Sherrod. Vamos? Thanks, man. Yep, it was great. Tchau, gente. Adiós. Tchau.